Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been literally forever since I posted on here. I'm just super lazy, but hopefully I start to get back into the swing of YouTube and all that. So today we're going to be talking about skincare. As you guys know, I've had a very long journey with my skin. Um, and I feel like, you know, I'm still on it, of course, because I still do break out. My skin still isn't perfect. But yeah, skincare is definitely a journey. And I'm sure all of you guys um, know exactly what it feels like to, you know, have problems with your skin. Um, you just have to be patient with it. And that's something that I wish I would have learned before because I've just felt so anxious to clear my skin. Um, and just so stressed out by it that I just wanted it to be clear right now and that I would just kind of rush the process. So, let's talk about skincare. Um, my skin's rude. She's very acne prone, but she's been really coming through for me lately. So, I feel like what I'm doing is finally working. Um, it did take some time and I just have to be patient with it, but... Yes, I use Cetaphil. Um, it's the daily facial cleanser. So I use this one just because I felt like I'm putting so many like chemicals and acids on my face. I didn't want my cleanser to also stress my skin out or to make it super dry. So I kind of just went for one that was really basic and that just had like good deep cleaning qualities um, without like the harsh chemicals, the harsh products in it. So that's what I use. After I wash my face with that, I go in, da 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 da, Stridex. So these are salicylic acid pads. And if you guys watched my last video, then you know what salicylic acid does. Um, exfoliates and it unclogs your pores. And it also kills acne bacteria. So I started using this probably like six months ago. My skin is totally loving it. And I feel like after I wash my face, this kind of also like really deep cleans my business because because this really gets in there and it really cleans out your pores and it unclogs them kills bacteria prevents new acne from forming so i really like these these are two percent salicylic acid cool and after i do that i use um lactic acid it's 10 percent and it's from the brand called the ordinary i actually just ran out yesterday and i threw it away because I'm so dumb. I ordered a new one, so it should be coming in in a few days. Because if not, I'm going to freak out. Basically, it looks kind of like this. And it's like a little dropper, whatever. You get some. And then, you know, you apply it to your face. I usually do, like, a good amount. I'm not, like, really scared of using things. Because I'm like, it can get worse, right? I'll get a good amount, like, on my hands. Kind of rub it in. And I like to pat it in. What lactic acid does in general is exfoliate your skin without like harsh rubbing. So you don't really need an exfoliant because it is a chemical exfoliant. And I love it because I feel like I'll go to bed and I feel just like texture on my skin or discoloration from acne, pigmentation, and all of that fun stuff. Um, I apply it and then in the morning I feel like my skin looks so much brighter. So what it does, it kind of reveals a new layer of your skin. Over time, it'll exfoliate it. Um, and it also helps your skin produce more like collagen and things like that to kind of give you a more youthful appearance, more youthful glow. So that's been my product um, since I kind of cleared up my acne. For the, since I cleared up the majority of like my open acne and just like more of active acne also, um, I've been using that. And even when I break out, I'll use it and I feel like my breakouts go away so much quicker because it's kind of taking off that layer and like healing it. Um, and lastly, when I'm done with everything, I go in with rosehip oil. So rosehip oil is supposed to be really good for your acne scarring. Rosehip seed oil is renowned for its ability to heal and lighten minor to severe stretch marks and scarring. Yeah. I think just everything that I've been using in combination has totally lightened the scarring that I had on my skin because it was bad even after I cleared my acne and I was like, oh. So I think everything that I've been using has been really helping with that because I feel like my skin looks so much brighter. And when I do break out, 
she bounces back so quick another thing that i feel like is super important is your diet like i said before i'm dairy free because the hormone in dairy causes acne um in most acne prone skin and if you feel like that's not for you then that's totally fine because everybody's skin is different and reacts to everything very differently um but my skin was pretty sensitive to what i ate so i stay away from dairy and everything like that yogurt and all the good stuff that i literally love ice cream aside from that which this might be a little grody but it's important to poop because um a lot of the times your skin can get clogged or can kind of back up because you are backed up and you can't use the restroom regularly it's usually it tends to keep the bacteria inside of you and that comes out in different forms so your skin is one of them so what i've been doing is i've been taking vitamins um and i've been taking probiotics so that kind of helps your um digestive system to kind of work the way you want it to work so the first vitamin is called balance belly and it's by ollie so they both are from the same brand and i'll link them down below um, this one is called balance belly it has fiber probiotics so everything that your digestive system kind of needs to get on the right track um and it's dairy free but my favorite thing ever that i feel like really really is out here putting in work these they're called vibrant skin it has hyaluronic acid collagen and c buckthorn also collagen love her i feel like collagen is obviously you have collagen in your skin but just having a little boost of it i feel like when i break out it goes away a lot quicker because of the collagen in my skin now from taking these i feel like it's um definitely expanded and i feel like um it's also helping clear my scarring so i highly recommend these two if you're out here watching me ollie definitely hit me with a sponsor because i live and my last product is this oxy acne medication it's maximum action benzoyl peroxide kills acne bacteria clinically proven so this is the spot treatment um, and when I have like breakouts, I'll literally apply this and they're half the size because obviously I still will break out. So this really comes in handy. It is strong. So if your skin's kind of sensitive or if your skin's a little on the drier side, um, it can tend to dry your skin out as can this because they're both chemicals. But at the end of the day, I feel like it's worth it. And this is super hydrating. So if you feel like your skin's being a little dry, and this really helps. I love this. So that's my skincare routine, guys. If you have any other questions, let me know. Every morning, I take my vitamins. And I wash it with this. And then I give it a good wipe with this. Focusing kind of on the T-zone. Um, and then I'll go in with my rosehip oil. And if I have some breakouts, which I do have somewhere on my face. I'll apply this. Like a thin layer go to bed and then in the morning it's almost gone so i recommend hopefully this answered everybody's questions um and if you did dm me i'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible anybody knows how to edit videos dm me message me because i hate editing my videos so i will definitely um love a good service if anybody can be of assistance but thanks for watching again like subscribe do all that and let me know what else you guys want to see.